So I wanted to give people an insight into a day in the life of. Um, so as you guys know, I have two roles of a CBT therapist and a forensic psychologist. Although there are a lot of similarities, if I was going to do a day in the life of one of them, it might get a bit confusing. So really, I'll talk about one, then I'll do another video on the other. So I'll start off with as a cognitive behavioural therapist. So within that, there is a lot of speaking to people. So I'll give you an idea of a typical day would be really to start by checking emails, replying to people, doing all that glorious admin um, that you can never underestimate the, the time it takes to do. But when working with my clients, um, I talk about mainly from a private practice perspective. So I would obviously liaise with clients, I would book them in for sessions. At the moment, a lot of that is happening over Zoom or some other online portal. But before the sessions, there is a lot of planning. So you would review your notes from previous sessions. You would potentially check emails to see if they have sent over homework because within CBT, homework is an essential part of what you do. Um, and we may not call it homework. We may call it between session exercises, between session work or stuff I have to do. Um, and I always agree with my clients what they prefer to call it because some people just don't like the term homework. So within that, so I said, check the emails, um, I've got the session time booked and from that I would plan my sessions. So within CBT there are various models that you work through that have different protocols that you follow. So you have to work through specific protocols for the disorder that you are looking at. And within that, because I like to integrate a lot of other styles and third wave methods, so I will have my protocol that I go with, but knowing my clients and knowing what I have seen works and what I know is effective, I bring in other things. So I often teach my clients about meditation. We talk a lot of about their kind of their dietary intake, their sleep, their water intake, their exercise. Although that is not a field that I am specialising, I specialise in. I have done training, particularly in mindfulness, I've practiced it myself for years, read a lot of stuff about it. Um, with the other areas, I kind of just check in with them because I know the impact on mental health. I know how sleep can impact your mental health, how food can, how water can, how um, exercise can. So I come at it in that perspective. So I will plan for the session, whether that is, as I said, following protocol, adding the, the additional things. Um, and then obviously having the session with a client, which is where we set an agenda at the beginning. So we both come with things that we want to talk about, which would normally include a check-in. Um, it would include going over some homework. Um, it, then there would be things that I would like to bring to the session that I've done in my plan and also things that they would bring to the session. So a session normally lasts about 50 minutes. If we are doing any trauma work or any sort of exposure, that would be a 90 minute session, so that's slightly longer. So we have the, the session and that, and then following the session, that would include time for me to maybe send across any resources that we've discussed um, or any sort of homework exercises that they need additional information for. Um, as I would in session, I share the resources, whether sharing the screen with the individual or things like that that I have done in the preparation stages um, and then really after my sessions I have time spent kind of writing the notes reflecting and just kind of compartmentalizing kind of dealing with anything that's come up for the session for me um, and anything that I think okay that would be helpful to talk about in another session so kind of making a note of things that I would like to check in on or follow up on or explore further so you really, I like to make sure I've got time between sessions so I'm not completely back to back because one, I don't have time for me to process it and it's not fair on my next client. Also, I don't really spend time enough for that client to really think about what and where I can help them and also thinking about where they are in therapy would be, depend on how much I need to kind of take that time after the session. And really that is similar for a lot of the, the clients. Sometimes there may be that I have to speak to different professionals about the, the client um, if I'm working with other professionals or it, it could be that I may be liaised with different 
services um, if if I need to. That doesn't really happen that much in private practice, but when when you are working within a multidisciplinary team, that is something that don't, generally does take up another element of your time. So really, that is a really kind of brief day in the life. There's a lot of reading. Um, Sometimes you always want to kind of keep up to date by what's going on in the research, what's kind of going on in the field. So spending time reading um, is also really important. And as a CPT therapist, we have to have regular supervision. And that depends on what level of training you are at, depends on the frequency that you have supervision. And that allows you a space to discuss the clients with someone who is more experienced than you. Um, and to give you another perspective and also to kind of look after yourself and if there's any areas of your work that you need to discuss or anything you're maybe finding particularly difficult um so that is a, something else that is really really important that i would i do that um monthly for cbt but i have other supervision for different things throughout the month as well um so yeah i hope that's kind of given a bit of an insight into what it is like um but obviously there is a lot of my main stuff is the client focused stuff and that is the stuff that i love i love being able to support people seeing people transform um, and seeing people really kind of getting the benefits out of therapy i put a lot of time in into my planning and to my prepping and to my reading kind of giving my best to my clients because they deserve it like they come to you for support um and i think within the sessions i might do another video actually and maybe like a typical session because that be quite nice um but yeah so i hope that's given you an insight into the day of the life of a cbt therapist and again that is from my perspective um different people do things maybe slightly differently but yeah hope that gives an insight